Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be doing a quick unboxing and installation of the Cougar Forza 135 Dual Tower CPU Cooler. The Forza 135 is a massive CPU cooler and weighs in around about one kilos. It features a dual tower design with seven heat pipes and a nickel clad copper base. The heatsink comes with a vacuum tunnel design giving you an effective and efficient cooling as well as increased airflow. The package also comes with two cooling fans. One is a 120 millimeter uh, fan giving you a flow rate of 82 CFM and uh, a noise level of uh, 31 decibels. While the other fan is 140 millimeters giving you a flow rate of 72 CFM and a noise level of uh, 38 decibels. Since this cooler is so big, I was worried about the clearance between the RAM, the CPU socket and all the components around the motherboard. But I think it should be okay. It'll be interesting to see how this CPU cooler will perform against other coolers that we tested in the past, including the all-in-one liquid coolers. Uh, we'll be testing this with the uh, Intel Core i9 13900K processor along with the Z790 motherboard. So uh, let's build a test rig and uh, before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Forza 135 CPU cooler. It's compatible with the LJ1700 as well as AM5 motherboards. It has a 140 millimeter fan as well as a 120 millimeter fan. A superior dual tower air cooler. All right, let's take a look inside the box, see what we have. Okay, all right. We have the uh, instruction manual. And let's have a look at the accessories inside this box we have let's have a look all right some fan clips you need that for mounting your fans and we have a tube of thermal paste okay some uh, mounting screws these are for the intel and uh, some securing screws there and these are for the intel backplate as well all right Okay, these are the mounting brackets you need to secure the heatsink. You need that. And there's more screws and mounts for other processors as well. All right, some more screws there. These are for the Intel processor as well. Okay, this is for the AM5 socket motherboards. You need that for AM5 motherboards. And there we have more screw mounts there for Intel processors. Okay. Here's the uh, back plate for the CPU Intel bracket there. I think that's it. All right, so let's take a look at the heatsink and the cooling fans. All right, let's take this off. Okay. First off, we have the 140 millimeter fan. It's situated inside in between the uh, dual tower and then we have the 120 millimeter fan which you can connect that to the side of the heatsink and now we have the heatsink itself we also have a screwdriver which you need then to secure the heatsink onto the uh, motherboard okay here we have the heatsink it's quite large and weighs in around about one kilos. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heat pipes, and uh, that helps with the cooling. And there's loads of cooling fins giving you a large surface area. There's quite a bit of clearance, and it should fit over your RAM or IO hood of your motherboard with no issues at all. Okay, now let's take a look at the nickel clad copper base. Remember to uh, peel the sticker off. Yes, make sure you do that. I do like the shape and design of the heatsink and it should fit most motherboards. All right, let's see what it looks like with the fans mounted. Here we have the 140 millimeter fan and that goes in the middle of the uh, tower. And then we also have the 120 millimeter fan and that can go on the uh, right side of the heatsink or on the left side. All right, let's uh, put these mounting clips on and see how secure the fans are. Here with the fan and we just mount the uh, mounting clips on one 
edge and then hook on the other Ponty clips on the other side and with that you just have to kind of put that in the middle where it hooks onto the uh, heat sink. You see the grooves there? Uh, the grooves then allow you to mount the clips on securely. All right, here we have the uh, heat sink with both fans mounted. You can see the clips and uh, they are quite easy to mount on, no problems there. I position the fan in the push-pull configuration and allows me to have airflow going in and out uh, more effectively. As you can see, there's plenty of room underneath the heatsink fins that allows me then to mount this over the RAM or the I.O. hood of the motherboard with no issues at all. The four pin cable can be daisy chained like this, or you can actually mount them individually onto your motherboard. For our test, we'll be using an Intel Core i9-1300K to see how well it will uh, cool our processor. So this is a quick unboxing of the Cougar Forza 135 Dual Tower CPU Cooler. When Cougar asked me to test the Forza 135 CPU air cooler, I was pretty excited because I wanted to see how well it will perform against the Noctua NH-D15. The Forza 135 is very similar in design, but this time it has 7 heat pipes, 2 cooling fans, a nickel clad copper base as well as a nice elegant capped core at the end of each heat pipe. During our test, we used an Intel Core i9-1300K processor with a DTP of 125 watts and can reach up to 250 during turbo boost. The idle temperatures was around 34 degrees, so nothing out of the ordinary, but to my surprise, at full load, the average temperature reached a high of only 69 degrees Celsius, which is pretty phenomenal. What I really like about the Forza 135 is the shape and design of the heatsink. It has plenty of clearance on both sides of the heatsink, allowing you to mount the CPU cooler without having to worry about the height of the RAM or the possibility that it might foul the I.O. hood or heatsink on the uh, MOSFETs or VRMs. The two cooling fans feature a durable metallic reinforced motor hub with a metal ball bearing shell design. It provides high airflow and high static pressure and does a great job of cooling the heatsink without being too noisy. Don't let anyone discourage you from buying an air cooler for your CPU. As you can see from the review and the results, We've already dispelled the myth that air coolers are not good enough for today's processors. What a load of bull. If you're after a big CPU air cooler that can offer excellent cooling performance for the latest processors at under $90, then look no further. The Cougar Forza 135 is the answer that you've been looking for. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick unboxing and installation of the Cougar Forza 135 Dual Tower CPU Cooler. A massive cooler with dual fans that's more than capable of cooling all of the latest processors out there. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyGeek.com.